off for a spin on a brand new 2018 Harley Davidson breakout. Oh dear, it's got some pull. Oh, that's nice. All the fight that used to be on the previous model breakouts, riding around that 240 section rear tire seems to have disappeared. Brakes have got a lovely feel to them. I'm liking the new minimal front end dashboard. This one's also been kitted out with some mini LED indicators and it's got some treatment to the tail light and rear end. Oh, that's lovely. Really is nice. Got a very relaxed riding position. Just feels like the sort of bike you could sit on all day. Ah, uh, it talks lovely, it really is. Just pulls so nicely. Gearbox is very smooth, very crisp, very direct. You can feel it going into your gear quite nicely. It just Offers no resistance, it's very nice. The new 8 valve motor. There's virtually, there's, there's some vibration coming through the handlebars, but it's minimal. Absolutely minimal. All it feels is strong when you wind it on. <laughs> just wants to go. I'm amazed at the difference between just how easy this bike is to change directions compared to the previous models. Huh. Just the ease that it tips in now at low speed is but this thing sides to sides quite nicely and doesn't require nearly as much energy to get it to go around a corner than previous models did it's also got this beautiful 114 cube motor that's strong torquey and really is a nice engine The overall road manners have been significantly improved. You can feel the upgraded suspension works, particularly in these sort of conditions, very nicely. It's not a harsh ride at all. It's quite compliant and it steers very nicely. You take it from the front, the brakes are really good. The front end seems to be working very nicely. It's got this really nice engine. It's got a lovely gearbox that you just tap it into gear and it gives you a very crisp, very direct sort of feel. And then when you wind it up, it really does go nicely. But the biggest thing for me is just how well it gets around the corners now. And pulling out of them is also very nice. You can understand why I think it will be, uh, well, it will continue its reign as Australia's best-selling bike. 
because they've taken what was already very popular and given it quite a good upgrade. Brakes are really nice. Really nice. Yeah, David, this is exactly what this bike's meant for. <laughs> it's doing it easy. Well, as far as just being a general sort of cruiser goes. It's really from the top shelf. It's comfortable. It's great looking. It's relaxed. It really is just a delight to ride. Suspension's good. There's no back jarring or teeth jarring going over those speed humps at all. It's just lovely. Lane splits easily because it's so narrow. It launches really nicely. It just gets out of the blocks. Minimal effort. It's just a wonderful feel-good motorcycle. I don't even care that it's raining. It's just so nice to be on board.